Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second part of the series and in this video, we will be creating a smooth and stylish lower third animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I will walk you through the process step by step. So even if you are a complete beginner, you will be able to follow along easily. In the final part of the series, I will also show you how to convert these animations into preset or templates, making them super easy to use in your future editing projects. So this is Vikas Kumar from Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's dive into the Vinci Resolve and get started. Alright, so this is the Vinci Resolve 20 and we will create the second design of this lower third. So before we start, all you have to do the basic settings. So click on the setting button in the corner. Set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 which is a full HD resolution. You can select 4K resolution as well from here. And this is the frame rate. Select the frame rate 24 frames per second which is good enough. And leave the other setting as it is. Click on save. Now we need to create a fusion composition because we're gonna create this animation inside of this fusion page. So just go to media pool. If you don't have this media pool, click on this button. Right click on this media pool, click on new fusion composition. This is gonna be lower third design. So I'm gonna call it lower third 02 duration, make it eight second long, which is good enough for animation in and out. Frame rate 24 frame per second, click on create drag and drop the fusion composition on the timeline you can change the clip color from here just right click on that clip go to clip and select any color that you like all right and then just go to fusion page here we have the media out node you can keep the media out node to the side we will attach this media out at the end of this animation now let's start by creating a background. So this is the background node. Drag and drop the background on this flow window. Drag and drop the background to the viewer. And you can see here we have a black background. If you have two different viewer, you can click on this single viewer and make it single. And here we have the inspector window. You can change the property from here. So I want to change the background color. Just click on the color, select the white color, hit OK. And now let's take a rectangle node. So this is the rectangle. Just drag and drop on the flow window and connect the rectangle with the background. And we need to do some setting with the rectangle. So just go to inspector window and this is the width. I'm gonna set the value 0.6, height value 0.18. And this is the corner radius. Let's set the corner radius one. All right, and here we have this option solid. So uncheck this box and this is the border width. I'm going to set the value 0.004 I guess perfect and now this is the position I'm going to set the position value 0.5 and this is the length we're going to create this animation using length just go to the frame number 36 which is equal to one and a half second this is the length right click on length click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe at frame number 36 then just go to very first frame of this animation frame number zero and set the length value zero so we will get this type of animation so this is the animation in and let's create animation out at the end of this timeline so just go to the end of this animation first right click on length click on set key and you can set the value zero here and then just go to 36 frame back in time so it should be maybe frame number 154 right here and here we have to set the value 1 so basically we will get this animation in and the animation out all right and we have to do one more thing so as you can see this is a point kind of thing right here so let's fix this just go to the inspector window and change this option flat now it is looking nice and then um, if you play the animation, it is a linear animation as you can see. Just go to spline window, hit F4 on the keyboard to make it full screen. Check this option rectangle, click on fit and here we have this type of graph. So just select these two keyframe, hit H to smooth, select these two, hit H to smooth. Now just go to very first keyframe right here. Highlight the second keyframe, hold this handle, 
and place the handle right here on the first keyframe position and repeat the same thing for this one. Now we have smooth animation as you can see. Now we need to duplicate these nodes, select these two nodes, hit Ctrl C on the keyboard, hit Ctrl V right here. And now we need to rename these node properly. So what we have to do, select the node, right click on that, click on rename and this is gonna be background two. Or you can also select the node, hit F2 to rename. I'm gonna call it rectangle two. Now it is looking nice. Drag and drop the second background, go to color and select a different color, maybe neon green or maybe like this you can select any color that you like hit ok and i'm going to create a delay between both the animations so we have two different color the first one is white and the second one is uh, this kind of color i want to create a delay between both the animations so what we have to do just go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen this time we don't need the rectangle one so uncheck this check the rectangle two only click on fit we need to create a time gap of 6 frames so just go to 6 frame you can see here select the keyframes hold shift and move it right here and repeat the same thing at the end just go to right here on this keyframe go to 6 frame back in time so it should be frame number 48 highlight these two keyframe and move it right here now close the spline window and then we have to merge these two outputs just connect the output of this background 2 with the background 1 and we will get a new merge drag and drop to the viewer now you can play the animation you can see here we have something like this perfect and after that we need to create a text so what we have to do this is the text node place it over here connect the output of this text with the output of this merge 1 and we will get another merge drag and drop the merge to the viewer select the text and type anything whatever you like select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using babish new pro i'm gonna select the style regular let's increase the size i'm gonna set the value 0.12 and we need to keep the text in the center so just right click on the preview window go to guide and check this option so guide and using this guide you can set the text in the center perfect and now we need to animate the text so what we have to do just go to frame number 30 select the text go to layout right click on center click on animate and go to very first frame of this animation let's drag and drop the text outside of the box so i'm going to set the y center y value 0.3 just go to frame number 150 right click on center click on set key and lock the position as it is go to 30 frame forward in time maybe on frame number 180 and you can drag and drop this text outside of the frame just like this i'm going to set the value 0.3 in center y again we have to make it smoother so just go to spline window again hit f4 uncheck the rectangle check the text only click on fit highlight these two keyframes hit edge to smooth hold this handle and place it like this select these two keyframes hit edge to smooth hold this handle and place it like this all right and now you can close the spline window and now we have nice and smooth animation but i want to limit this text because i don't want to show the text um, like this so what we have to do uh, this is the rectangle one select the rectangle hit ctrl C to copy click here hit ctrl V to paste this is gonna be our mat so I'm gonna call it mat attach this mat with the text but we need to remove the um, animation from the mat just go to the center of this timeline here we have the animation so just right click on length click on this option remove rectangle one perfect now we don't have any animation in this mat select the mat and do some setting just set the border width to default check this option solid all right 
now it will work as a mat so this is the set of nodes and now we need to create another set of nodes so what we have to do let's take drag and drop to the viewer i'm gonna select the color maybe this one hit ok and take a new rectangle attach the rectangle with this background three select the rectangle go to inspect the window and here we have the width let's set the width value 0.32 height value 0.1 and corner radius 1 all right so we will get something like this and after that we need to animate the rectangle so just go to frame number 40 this is the width right click on that click on animate just go to frame number 10 let's set the width value 0 just go to frame number 150 right click on width click on set key go to frame number 180 and set the width value 0 so basically we will get something like this all right now i'm gonna make it smoother just uncheck the text check the rectangle 3 click on fit button and make it smoother perfect and here we have nice and smooth animation we need to create duplicate of these two nodes so select these two nodes hit ctrl c hit ctrl v i'm gonna rename it properly select this background go to color and select this color pure white hit ok and we need to create delay between both the animations so select the rectangle 4 go to spline window hit f4 and this is the rectangle 3 and this is the rectangle 4 leave the rectangle 3 as it is go to the highlight this rectangle 4 we need to create a time gap of three frames so just go to frame number 13 i guess highlight these two keyframe and move it on the frame number 13 and now we have gap of three frames between animation one of this rectangle three and rectangle four and then just go to on this keyframe go to three frame back in time so it should be 147 highlight these two keyframes and move it right here close the spline window now let's merge both the outputs so connect the output of this background four with the output of this background three drag and drop the merge to the viewer if you play the animation we will get something like this all right and now let's create one more text so this is the text node drag and drop right here merge this text with the merge 3 drag and drop the merge 4 to the viewer select the text 2 and type anything whatever you like just like this i'm going to change the color of this text change the font style i'm going to use this font style babish new pro select the style bold italic i'm going to set the value 0 0.05 i guess and this is the line spacing let's increase the spacing value 1.05 sorry this is the line spacing so i'm gonna increase the tracking amount 1.05 perfect so now it's looking like this hold control and scroll up to zoom in select the text and set it in the center we need to animate the text so what we have to do just go to frame number 45 select the text go to layout right click on center click on animate go to frame number 15 and let's drag this text outside of this rectangle you can put the value in center y.4 perfect so basically we will have something like this now just go to spline window again make this text animation smoother just check this text too click on fit highlight these two keyframes hit edge to smooth hold this handle and place it right here perfect now you can close the spline window and here we have something like this now i'm gonna attach a mat with this text as well so what we have to do you can simply connect the rectangle 4 output with the text 2 all right this rectangle can work as a mat for this text too you can see the result it's looking perfect now you can click on fit button and we need to merge both the um, node connections so here we have the output for this one and here we have the output for this one now 
I'm going to connect the output of this merge 2 with the output of this merge 4 because I want to keep this output as a foreground and this one as a background or you can also use this technique simply you can drag and drop a merge node right here I'm going to connect the green foreground point with this merge 2 and yellow background point with the merge 4 and drag and drop the merge 5 to the viewer after that I'm gonna place this um, second output just right here so select the merge 4 add a transform node using the transform you can move the shape right here so you can overlap just a little bit so we have animation in and the animation out all right and let me do one more thing you can create a junction right here so hold alt on the keyboard right click on the connection and create a junction and make it like this so it will make your node connections clean and simple after that I'm gonna attach a transform so select the merge 5 add a transform using this transform 2 I'm gonna create a scale animation so just drag and drop to the viewer just go to the frame number 35 select the transform right click on size click on animate go to 12 frame forward in time which is equal to half a second so just go to frame number 47 I guess and let's increase the size 1.05 so it will give you animation something like this repeat the same thing right here so just go to frame number 135 and lock the size by clicking on this diamond button go to 12 frame forward in time on frame number 147 keep it default and now we have this animation in and the animation out and make it smoother so just go to spline window hit f4 uncheck all the nodes and check this transform too click on fade button make it smoother now you can close the spline window and after that let's connect the media out with this main output and then just go to the edit page and here we have the animation now you can use this lower third animation so i'm going to import a video clip place this fusion composition on the second track and drag and drop a video right here and as you can see this animation is looking like this I'm gonna fit the video clip so just go to inspect the window let's increase the zoom value just a little bit so either you can use this animation like this or you can use this animation as a lower third let me show you how select the fusion composition let's down the size just a little bit maybe 0.5 set the position of this animation in bottom left corner or maybe bottom right corner all right so it will work as a lower third and now i'm gonna keep it default and let's have a look and finally this is looking amazing right so this was the second design check out the link in the description for the other parts of the series and that's a wrap for today's video i hope you like it for more such videos subscribe to this channel like the video and also comment below what you think about it my name is vikas kumar and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye